In this video, we'll be setting up Do Browser, a browser-based AI agent that can take control of your browser um, and perform various tasks for you that you would otherwise do manually. So let's dive right into it. So Do Browser is essentially this Chrome extension where once you install it, you tell it what you want it to do. So um, if you see my last video, um, we ask it to do some market research on YouTube for the AI space. And then basically what it does is it pulls up this little, the Chrome extension tab on the side. It goes to YouTube, it starts doing things. Um, Do Browser is a browser-based AI agent that basically takes control of Chrome for you and starts clicking buttons, doing market research, putting together reports, spreadsheets, answering emails, lead generation. So today we're gonna to be setting this up in our browser live. Um, and I'm gonna go through a couple different use cases of how you could use this and where the space is going. So essentially Do Browser is this Chrome extension where you can either trigger it from go, typing in do in your uh, URL tab, um, wherever you're querying your URLs, or you can go over here and say something like, um, what I said before, do market right research on YouTube for the AI space, just something very general. And essentially what it's gonna do is it's gonna click on buttons, it's gonna type things in, I'm not uh, clicking anything right now. Um, it's doing all this for me, it's scrolling down, it's finding videos, it's doing market research. Um, and so essentially we will see that these will be taking off in 2025. Um, I have very high confidence that this is gonna be the case. Um, and what's gonna happen is basically that uh, building AI agents is only gonna get easier and easier. Um, and so you can see it's starting to take over my browser and do look up AI trends 2024. Um, so essentially do browser is a Chrome extension. So if we say like do browser Chrome extension here, um, or let's just go to do browser.io right now it's 25 bucks a month, pretty expensive for a beta version, but I think it's worth it just, just to be able to test this stuff out, to get on the frontier of these browser based agents. Um, and so yeah, like if you don't want to spend the money, you can just watch this video and see how it works. Uh, but I'm gonna be creating more videos on how to create an, a business of agents as a service, where you're basically building these agents for people. So I think it's valuable just to pay the money to learn um, where the space is at, how to set this up. So you would basically just um, join early access. Um, you would pay 25 bucks. And then basically what you would do um, is you would download the Chrome extension. Um, so let me go here um, and look at my extensions. One second. So you can find it um, at this link that I'll drop in the description or in the comments. And then you can see Do Browser here. You just add it to Chrome. Um, and then it will pop up here. You'll uh, basically open up the Chrome. You can pin it, uh, make it easy, more accessible. Um, and then essentially what you're going to do is you're going to have 250 steps per month or i guess it's a thousand per day which does not make sense at all um but you can also add in your open ai api key so you can go to open ai um, api and you go to platform.openai.com um, and i believe i got this api key in my arc browser the reason i'm using chrome right now is because that's the only way that um, do browser works it doesn't work in arc yet um, but basically what I would do is I would uh, grab this API key, paste it in here. I would do 40 mini just because you want it to be a little bit cheaper. Um, you can include, I would include screenshots just to see how it works. Um, and then that, then I would close out of the settings. Um, and if you go to um, this, it'll restart it. It'll go in whatever tab you're doing. Um, so if you just click this, open it up. This is one of the easier ones to set up. Uh, I have a video on setting up cloud computer use, which involves Docker, virtual machines, um, opening up your terminal in your Mac. And so um, this is actually a lot simpler to set up. And then you just want to tell it what you want it to do. So maybe we can say like find some um, businesses in the U.S., maybe in Florida 
that are what type of businesses do we want to target? I feel like everyone targets marketing agencies. Maybe we want to target like SaaS companies and find their emails to reach out to. So we'll see if it can do this. Um, whoa, okay. So it typed in SaaS companies in Florida. It's looking on well found, pretty smart actually. It's finding some gusto. Didn't know that was based out of Florida. Insta base. Um, and now it's trying to extract the names and websites of these companies. I asked it, I think I asked it to put emails in. Yeah. So now it's going to Pendo. Let's see if it can find their email. So while it's going, I will say that this is this is where things are heading in 2025. I'm putting all of my metaphorical poker chips on this. Um, once you can get this, like right now, you add the Chrome extension, it's, it's making it easier for a consumer to use essentially. Um, but where I think this is heading is both in my own workflows, I'll just have like a bunch of Chrome windows up and I'll be like, do this, and then I'll create a new Chrome window, do this as well. And I'll just kind of like let this run in the background and then add all the data to like a couple source Google Sheets or spreadsheets. Um, so did it find it yet? It's going to the help center. It's pretty smart. All right. Um, but I imagine that where this is going to go um, is that there's going to have there's going to be some API that you can call. You can add a prompt in and just let it run for you. Um, in some sort of virtual machine. So I think we're going to get to a place where you can basically just schedule, like run this agent with this prompt every single day. It will go and it will do stuff for you. Um, and so it's basically making like no code tools a hundred times more powerful because now rather than like adding, you know, send this HTTP request to get this website data and do this regex to parse and find the email, if you found the email, create this filter, add it to this spreadsheet, right? You have to think through every single possible step that could happen. Um, whereas now you'll basically just say every single day, it's one module in make.com, uh, run this API request with this prompt to have do browser or whatever, whatever uh, browser based agent. Um, it wait, Like do something and then you get the results and you, you don't have to think through all the different steps of this. You're just letting it run and figure out how to do it for you. And this increases your leverage 100x, 1000x because then all you have to do is you can create 20 prompts in half an hour. And then essentially you can have 20 agents running for you. Um, and there's probably gonna be some quality assurance that you're gonna need to do and um, I'll now look for any contact on the about page. If you don't find it, move on to the next business. Um, um, what was I saying? So, yeah, you'll basically be able to have... Oh, damn, it just went straight to Gusto. Um, you'll be able, be able to have 20 agents running... And your only job is to come up with the prompt, to come up with the strategy, and to figure out how do you want to prompt this thing in the first place. Um, and then the more clear and concise your prompt, the better the agent is able to actually carry out the task that you wanted to do. Um, and so, did it find it? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, now I'll extract it. It says, it says that it did. We'll see if it actually comes up with the emails here. It's going to pipe drive, it's going to Instabase. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about Do Browser as we're running this demo, just because it's it's pretty solid, you know? Like it's, it's doing a lot of what you would need an agent to do, but I still have to very much monitor it. Like I'm still kind of like watching it as it works to make sure that it's doing things right. I don't really trust it to just take my browser and just run with anything that it could do. Um, at this moment in time, but I still think it's worth, I mean, a lot of people won't say it's worth 25 bucks a month. Um, but I'm thinking big here, right? If, if I'm trying to build, we're trying to build agents as a service where we're setting up these agents 
four different businesses, understanding use cases. I think 25 bucks a month is a really small price to pay because once they get good enough, um, you've probably seen, uh, let me actually ask it. Uh, no, I'll let it see if it gets the contact information. But um, essentially, if you can sell one agent for between $1,000 and $10,000, um, you're going to get to a place where, you know, if you understand how this stuff works, you can build an agent in 10 hours and make $2,000 or maybe it takes you 20 hours to do some prompt engineering. Um, but then you get paid 10 grand, you're making like 500 to a thousand dollars an hour. Um, and so 25 bucks a month in the grand scheme of things, if you're playing big games, if you're playing long-term games, if you're very strategic, um, it's just like a learning opportunity. Think of it as like your your education fund. You know, you're you're putting money into understanding how AI works, to leveraging AI, to becoming an expert in AI. Um, like you're watching this video, it took me 30 minutes to learn how to use Do Browser, um, and now you're watching this video and learning how to do it yourself. Um, and so it depends what niche you want to get into. It depends what services you want to get into. Um, but let's say you could use this as an education tool yourself. Um, I'm going to be creating some more videos on this in the future, but essentially one of my favorite use cases right now of actually like chat based agents or chat based models, the vast majority of the AI that I'm using these days is in make.com or NAN. It's within automations. It's via API call. But when I'm actually in Claude, I don't use open AI. Um, I don't really believe in it ethically. Um, Every once in a while, I'll use it inside of make.com. Um, but I try to keep the use cases minimal um, just because I like where Anthropic's head is at more than where Sam Altman and OpenAI's head is at. But that's that's for another video. Uh, but what are all of the email addresses that you found? Um, but one of my favorite use cases is basically adding to the knowledge base, different books, and then reflecting on the books, trying to integrate the lessons. Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> kind of going back and forth here, but it found, if you can see here, um, it looked at all of these, it found one, two, three, four, five out of 10, which is not bad. You know, if you have it look for. 10,000 and you find 5,000 like that's great you have 5,000 emails now um, I guess these are the same why is IR at C3 the Mongo database one was not correct so I guess it's 4 out of 10 um, but hey if it's if it's we're this early in the game and it's finding 4 out of 10 emails on websites from a couple queries um, and I'm basically talking and making a video while it's just running in the background um, that's pretty solid and so I guess the, the use case that I was talking about to go back to that, um, which I'll make another video about in the future, but it's like, it's really powerful to be able to take books that you are reading, um, to add in just like the raw text of that book into Claude projects, and then to just dialogue with it and say like, you are the author, help me integrate these lessons. Here's my specific context. Um, give specific advice to me in my context. Um, and so, that's one of the best use cases of AI if you're just trying to find solid use cases that I would highly recommend. Then also learning AI agents, learning no code. Um, these are gonna put you ahead of the vast majority of people that are just going to ChatGPT and saying, write me an article um, or whatever people use ChatGPT for these days. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for some more uh, AI agent based videos. And I hope that you found this helpful, informative, um, and let me know your thoughts down below. So thank you so much for watching.